G'day guys and welcome back to ADOS the Great YouTube channel. So in today's video we're going to be checking out this song 46 equals 13 by Samson. Now this one was it recommended to me. I don't really know what I'm what I'm checking out here. Like I believe it's a Joe Biden disc, but I could be wrong. So we're gonna jump in, we're gonna check it out, and hopefully it's a good song. So yeah. Let's uh, let's jump straight in and check it out. And if you guys do have any more interesting Joe Biden disses you guys want me to check out, leave them in the comments below. Chances are I've done a few. But, uh, yeah, if you are interested, I'd love to hear them. Anyways, guys, we're going to jump in. We're going to check this out. Let's go. Obviously, it says chances are you feel the same way I do. I love high gas prices. I love paying more for groceries, and I really love seeing taxes rise. It's so good knowing that I'm giving more, but receiving less, it makes me feel humble. But I mean, that's happening in Australia as well. Like, 100%. I love his shirt. Samson, the way he's done, that's clever. I like that. But, um, yeah, while we, like, where I live in Queensland, in Australia, it's, it's pretty good. Like, we've got life pretty good right now. We can go outside. We can do what we want. There's no, you know... We're not like uh, New South Wales and Victoria, that's for sure. We're pretty free here, except our fuel prices are ridiculous. Um, basically, the cost of living is ridiculous, and our pay isn't going up to support that. So that kind of sucks. But other than that, I'm loving life in Queensland. But let's keep it going. But I'm going to stop with the sarcasm right there because I swear we're living in a real jungle. It's like what? Pretty simple to me, though. It's way past being left or right. Just use your head and common sense and think about how you've been affected in daily life. That that was a good line. You know, it's not left and right. Use your common sense to see how you've been affected in daily life. Straight away, man. What? Pretty simple to me, though. It's way past being left or right. Just use your head and common sense and think about how you've been affected. So have you been to the store? Have you compared the prices to the year before? That was good. Oh, man, this is fire. I don't even know who this dude is, and it is fire. Why haven't you guys told me to react to him sooner? Pump gas, don't lie to me now. It sucks ass. You can brush it off like it's a fucking joke, but the media lies. Numbers don't. Who you kill? The media lie, numbers don't. 100%. Wait, why did it isn't him? Well, who the fuck is it then? What jack up the prices? I want to know. I spend so much at Econico. I don't know. I think it's insane that the leader of the country gets no blame because the whole entire time, the last four years, it was cheap as fuck. I'm just saying that. I, mean, I, I like this. This is good, and it's true. Like, you know, I see a lot of that from Americans being like, when Trump was running the country, prices were pretty low. <laughs> Sorry about that. And there was a lot of good things happening for America. So, I don't know. It's out of my hands. Let me know down in the comments. But I'm vibing with this at the moment. Now watch. Down in the comment section, someone's going to give us an economy lesson. I can't wait to hear your expert analysis on fluctuation and how expenses balance. Hey, it's all a part of the process. What the hell are you bitching for? It's fine. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July. What a fucking... I'd say I, I can't really comment on that because I don't really know what goes on in America on 4th of July. Um, I know it's, I'm probably going to get this wrong, is it Independence Day? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really not cold. I'm not, I, I'm not really, I don't know much about America to be honest with you. Like, I don't, I don't listen to the media's interpretation of America because half the time I think it's rubbish. Just like... Um, the news you get from Australia, like, I know a lot of you guys think that Australia is all fucked. But in all honesty, it's not. Uh, Victoria, New South Wales, parts of South Australia, and the ACT, I believe, are buggered. So just under half of Australia is pretty shitty at the moment. But the rest of us love life. We can go out, we can do what we want. There's... There's nothing wrong with that with that part of the country. So I think it's like 
and we've got our liberal politicians and our labor politicians so yeah you gotta see where i'm coming from too bad i spent more on gas just to get the target so by that time i got done buying all the shit and filling up my car i had way less than when i started now i don't really call that saving no i call that losing money it doesn't take a genius to do simple math but apparently you can't so who's the dummy who was i'm just pissed off this inflation's fucked up but i gotta say you're an act like i love this administration with a thumbs up stupid hey let me know what you guys think about this in the comments because he's he's coming with facts here in my opinion so Everything is hell, but you act like I'm supposed to be in heaven. You know our country ain't doing too good when the Waffle House start to close at 11. Dude, he can barely talk, and don't act like I'm being overzealous. Every time the man speaks, I have no fucking clue what he's trying to tell. This one I do agree with 100% because it's frustrating when I, if I ever, which I don't really, but if I ever tune into a Joe Biden press conference, it's like mumble. Like, I don't understand half the stuff he's saying. It's ridiculous. How can someone that can't speak run a country into the ground, apparently? Every speech is like a gag reel. Every time I see the shit, I'm like, is that real? Considering the fact that the only other option was Trump, I don't think it's such a bad deal. Fuck that. I want a strong leader. The strength of a man should be constantly tested, especially when you're in the most powerful position in the world. That should be not even a question. Again? Facts, man. That's facts. You gotta give him that. That's facts. No, there's really not enough words that can describe the craziness we're facing, dude. Okay, look, let's. I'm just gonna go back because I don't want to miss anything. But let's be honest, right? If you don't like Trump, fair enough. Fair enough if you don't like Trump. But I'm pretty sure 90 percent, at least 90 percent of Americans would agree that Trump has done a better job than Biden. I wholeheartedly believe that, and you know, you guys know more than I do so that's just a random number I'm throwing out there but that's that's my opinion like you know I think there's probably a lot of people that are regretting their vote now strength of a man should be constantly tested especially when you're in the most powerful position in the world that should be not even a question no. there's really not enough words that can describe the craziness we're facing dude but the crazier part is there's still people you need to sit down and really explain this to come on just watch a press conference. You'll see the joke is all gone. He literally says out loud that he has a list of people he's supposed to call on. And even then he fucks that up. The whole thing is hella awkward. COVID-19 ain't his biggest enemy. It is. It's the goddamn teleprompter. It feels like we don't... <laughs> don't even have a leader. It's like we're all just following blindly. Each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a debate and they're almost 90. Look at him. Don't take it from me. Go listen to him. It's not a rumor. He got it. I mean, the, today, Junior. Oh, I like the way he did that. It's not a rumor, and then he puts the voice over, and he's like, today, Junior. Following blindly, each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a debate, and they're almost ninety. Look at him. Don't take it from me. Go listen to him. It's not a rumor. He got it. I mean, the. Today, Junior! Jesus Christ, go on YouTube and click any video of Joe Biden and check out the like and the dislike ratios. That should prove to you that no one likes him. I don't agree with anything he's done. His decisions affect me in many ways. If it was up to me, I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. I don't like Biden. <laughs> oh, we need to hear that again. That was that was dope. Go on YouTube and click any video of Joe Biden and check out the like and the dislike ratios. That should prove to you that no one likes him. I don't agree with anything he's done. His decisions affect me in many ways. If it was up to me, I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. I don't like Biden. What good's he done for us? I think Afghanistan... Oh, he's, he's going in on this. Yes, come on. ...tweets and cheap gas any day. I don't like Biden. What good's he done for us? I think Afghanistan pretty much sums it up. What a dumb adult. My stomach does somersaults when I think about those 13 soldiers that were killed the fucking dog. Oh, man. And then he had the audacity to check his watch at the funeral. What a piece of fucking work. Like Dead said, wow. Like, there's been a lot of things that I've disagreed with that the Prime Minister of Australia has done. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of things I think shit, he could have done so much better in that situation. But he shows respect to to the people that deserve it. He does. I'll give him credit with that. He'd never go to a funeral and check his watch. That was pathetic. I don't think any other world leader 
would do that. And that is why I've said in another video, I personally think, and this will probably get taken down from, from this statement right here, but I think Joe Biden is a worse human being than Adolf Hitler. Then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere. What did I just say? Like Dad said. Oh, my stomach does somersaults when I think about those 13 soldiers that were killed the fucking ball. Then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere better to be. I swear the disrespect isn't stopped. Pick your fucking head up. Look at the women and men you killed. I don't understand how anyone could even defend you still. And if they do, they either don't know what they're talking about or they're lying to themselves because they know damn well you're a problem now. Pulling out was a good choice. Not the way you did it, though. Kamala's probably sitting there like, oh my God, he did it, Joe. Speaking of her, where's she been through? All these deadly days. That's another good man. He's he's bringing like, look. This annoys me because this to, this type of music will get, you know, it won't get out there because people don't like to hear it. But he's speaking the truth. Like it annoys me that people push this stuff down because it offends them. How can being truthful be offensive? It it just it confuses me. As soon as shit erupts and hits the fan, Kamala's MIA. Not like she does anything anyway. So fucking useless. Law and order, crisis at the border. She don't fucking do shit. Just a talking head, paired up with the walking dead. Breaking absolutely every word that was promised or said. Every time I see their faces on TV, it's such a bummer. I feel like I'm watching the third installment of Dumb and Dumber. And I'm Top of all that, they put another ban on ammo, trying to disarm Americans, but he quit the Taliban like Rambo. You give them hundreds of. All right. So, I completely understand your gun laws. Like, you you want guns there? That's absolutely fine, and it's in it's your rights to have them. But in Australia, I am so happy that they they brought in the gun laws because we've been pretty good with school shootings or not just school shootings, shootings in general. So. As an Aussie, I I am happy we have gun laws here, but I completely understand that you know you you have every right to bear arms. I completely understand that, and you should continue to have every right to. So I I can't I'm not going to speak on that because both countries have different stances on the gun laws, and I I respect and agree with Australia's um, laws. And I respect your guys' laws as well. It's your rights to do that. I don't think anybody should should take that away from you. That's completely your rights. So let's keep it going. Thousands of military guns, but Americans just trying to protect their families are the scary ones. You put more trust in a terrorist organization. And that's true as well, he does. And then you doing your own people. You don't care about this nation. Fuck you, that's from me. Fuck you, that's from them. Fuck you from everyone that's still stuck in Afghanistan. Fuck you from the men and women who died for this country. And fuck you for every time you lie to cover up something. You blame this on Trump. How the fuck is this even his fault? You're in charge now, not him. That's just your default. Whenever something goes wrong, you flip and say he did it. But whenever something goes right, you're quick to take the credit. You undid almost all of Trump agreements by your second day so why is this one of the only fucking things you left in place no cross and look let's just say let's just put this into perspective donald trump donald trump was in the running for a nobel peace prize i do know this because he got north and south korea to sign a fucking peace treaty nobody nobody in history has ever been been able to do that pretty sure that's pretty factual it's close. All I know is he got them to sign a peace treaty. That's crazy. To bear. No responsibilities, just chocolate, chocolate chip to ease your mental instability. I would say the blood's on your hands, but that's a lie because you don't even know where the fuck you are half the time. All right. That's, I think. Okay. So that, um, that pretty much wraps that one up. Holy crap, I was not expecting that. That was a banger. That was one of the best Joe... Sorry. That was one of the best Joe Biden disses I've heard. Like, he just... Like, I... There's a lot of Joe Biden disses out there that I like, but this one was amazing. Never heard of this kid before, but he absolutely killed that. 
everything was factual. He had evidence behind it. You know what? Shout out to Samson because Samson killed this one. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up from me. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank you.